In this video, we're gonna talk about how to take your law firm from zero to $100,000 per month in revenue fast. Now, even if your law firm is over $100,000 a month or close to it, you're still gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video because I guarantee you, you are going to learn a lot. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'm gonna be sharing my number one tip to get clients. You could use this tip and get twice as many clients without even increasing your ad spend. It's that effective, so don't miss it. Now, first things first, before you can even think about going from zero to $100,000 in revenue, there's a few things that you have to take care of first. And the number one thing that you have to think about is your intake. Who is going to answer the calls for you? Is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be an associate? If you're at zero revenue, it's probably gonna be you. Now, here's the thing. You need to make sure that your calls are answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Now, if you can afford an answering service, that's great. But honestly, you might have to suck it up and you might have to man the phones for at least a little while while you get going. Intake is so important that Dan Newland, who happens to be one of the most successful personal injury attorneys in the entire world, he's got over 18,000 active cases. He put his office directly next to his intake center. The reason that he did this is because he understands that intake is the heartbeat of your entire law firm. It doesn't matter how how great of a lawyer you are. It doesn't matter how great your ads are. None of that matters if you cannot get cases. So the number one thing that you need to figure out is how am I going to make sure that my calls are answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. There's a statistic that 50% of people will hire the first vendor that they talk to. What that means is you need to answer the phone. You will get half the people that call you to hire you if you just answer the phone, if you're just the first person to answer the phone. That means your calls can't go to voicemail. You can't have a phone tree. Make sure that a real person answers the phone and that will absolutely change the game for you. Now, once you have your intake figured out, the next thing you need to figure out is who am I actually serving? Who is the audience that you are targeting? There's a very famous copywriter named Gary Halpert and he tells a story where he asked a bunch of college kids if they were gonna start a hamburger stand, what would be the one advantage that they would want that would give them the advantage over every other hamburger stand in the industry. So people were shouting out things like better meat, and better cheese. So after a few minutes of guessing, Gary kind of put them out of their misery and basically said, no, sorry, you guys are all wrong. If I were opening a hamburger stand, the only thing that matters is I would want a starving audience. Because if you have a starving audience, you are more likely to sell lots and lots and lots of hamburgers. So you need to take that approach with your law firm as well and figure out who are you actually targeting. Now, a lot of lawyers make the mistake of just going way too broad and not picking an actual type of person that you're trying to target. You have to remember, people hire you. Cases don't hire you. And there's different types of people that have different types of cases. So let's say you're an estate planning attorney. Does a couple who is in their 30s with a house and small children and a small business, do they have the same fears, desires, and needs as a couple who is in their 60s, maybe they're empty nesters, do they have similar problems or different problems? Most of the time, it's different problems. So if you're just talking about the problem that one couple has, then the other couple is not going to relate to you. They have different sets of problems. When you create content that is for specific people, then you're going to attract those types of people because then you're speaking about the things that they actually care about. So before you start marketing your law firm, you need to ask yourself, who am I actually serving? Who are the types of people that I want to hire me? Because people hire you. Cases don't hire you. And then once you know who those people are, figure out what is it that they want, what is it that they're afraid of, and what is it that they want to avoid at all costs. So if you can answer those questions and formulate your content around answering those questions, then you will attract your ideal clients like a magnet with all of your content that you put out. We helped a personal injury attorney get 10 TBI cases in just seven months simply by creating content that appealed to the family members of people who had brain injuries, the caregivers. That traumatic brain injury campaign alone resulted in almost $4 million in fees in just seven months for that law firm. That's the power of niching down. Now, the third thing that you need to do is you need to create an amazing offer. Now, offer creation isn't something that you typically hear associated with lawyers, and that's why you need to create an amazing offer. You see, lawyers are commodities. Every lawyer is more or less the same, and the only thing that really differentiates you is your experience, but that's negligible 
tangible at that. But what if you could position yourself in a way by creating an offer that makes all the other law firms completely irrelevant in your market? Let me give you a very simple example. Let's say you're hiring a babysitter and babysitter A says, I charge $8 an hour and I'll watch your kids. Now babysitter B comes along and says, I charge $12 an hour and I'll also watch your kids. But in addition to watching your kids, I'll also cook them a healthy dinner, clean up all the dishes, and we'll play games all night long so that they're not on their screens all night. And when you get home, they will be fast asleep so you don't even have to worry about bedtime. Now, which babysitter would you hire? Well, every single time I ask any parent, the answer is always babysitter B. Now, the interesting thing is that babysitter B charges 50% more than babysitter A, yet everybody still picks babysitter B. Why is that? Well, it's because it's a better value. It's a better offer. It's something that you can't get anywhere else. So you have to ask yourself, how can I create that type of effect from my law firm? And yes, you can do it. It just takes a little bit of thinking. Now, there are four elements that impact your offer. The first is the dream outcome. What is the outcome that they are actually looking for? And that's why it's so important to understand what it is that your clients actually want. For example, if you're a bankruptcy attorney, nobody wants a bankruptcy. What they want is freedom from their debt. What they want is the bill collectors to stop calling. That's what they want. They don't want the bankruptcy, but you have to understand what you are actually selling. And that's the dream outcome. You've got to get that mentality out of your head and start thinking, I'm selling peace of mind. I am selling a new life. That is what people are hiring you for. They're hiring you for the result. Now, the second element is perceived likelihood of achievement. How likely do they think it is that you're going to be able to help them achieve their dream outcome? Now, the easiest way to prove this is through social proof, through reviews. Now, if you just started your law firm, then you're probably not gonna have a lot of reviews. So in that case, you can get what I call character reviews. These are reviews from friends, and family who can leave you reviews about your character. Once you start getting clients, it's imperative that you get reviews from every single client. I recommend you have them leave them on your Google profile. What's cool is that if you get words, phrases, keywords, and synonyms that are related to your practice area and your geographical area in your reviews on your Google profile, then you'll actually rank higher in Google, which means that you'll get more clients for free, which is absolutely awesome. Now, the way that you can get your clients to leave words, phrases, keywords and synonyms that are related to your practice area in your reviews without it being spammy is by giving them questions that they can answer about their experience with you. So these are the five questions that you should always tell clients to answer when leaving you a review. Question number one, what was the problem that you had before you came to our law firm? Why did you pick our firm over all the other firms in the area? What did we do for you? What were the results? How did these results impact your life? If you answer these five questions, then what's gonna happen is you are going to get an absolutely incredible review that tells a story from start to finish. You're also gonna naturally get all those words, phrases, keywords, and synonyms in there that will make you rank higher in Google. And third, a lot of times you're gonna see that reviews that are shorter and don't have a lot of substance to them will get deleted by Google. This will make sure that more of your reviews stick and don't get deleted time delay. How much time is going to pass from the time they hire you to get the dream outcome until they actually get the dream outcome? Now, the more that you can reduce the amount of time that passes from the time they hire you until the time that they get the dream outcome, the better the offer. Now, obviously, there's going to be things that you have no control over, such as court dates and things like that. But what are the ways that you can make it go faster? If you can figure out how it takes the other law firms six months to get something done and you can shrink that timeline down to three months or two months or six weeks or whatever it is, you will win so much more. So figure out the time delay element and you will have a great offer. The fourth and final element that impacts your offer creation is effort and sacrifice. How much effort and how much sacrifice are they going to have to make to get that dream outcome? And as I'm sure you can figure out, the less effort that they have to put in and the less sacrifice that they have to make, the better the offer. So think about what are all the efforts and all the sacrifices that they are going to have to do in order to achieve that dream outcome and how can you kind of chip away at each one of those things and make it seem like less effort and less sacrifice. Maybe you can help them fill out paperwork. Maybe you can log into their bank accounts and get all their bank statements. Whatever it is, whatever effort they have to put forth, if you can reduce that effort and put it on yourself, then you will have a better offer. And once you have a fantastic offer, you've completely decommoditized yourself 
because what that means is that means they can't get the same offer that you're gonna make at the lawyer up the street. The offer that you're making is unique to you, so you can charge whatever you want and there's no competition. Okay, so now that you've figured out your intake, your audience, and your offer, it's time to start growing your law firm and start bringing in some leads. Now, when it comes to marketing, there's two types of marketing, proactive and reactive. Proactive marketing is where you're actually going out and putting content out there in front of people who aren't necessarily looking for it. This is done through social media and other mediums like that. It's proactive. You're being proactive in your approach. The other type of marketing is reactive marketing. That is where you're reacting to a search or an action that they take by showing an ad. For example, someone searches DUI attorney near me and you show an ad for a DUI attorney. Pretty simple. So let's talk about reactive first. Now, when you're just starting your law firm and you need to get phone calls coming in and you need to get some clients, you need to get some cases, LSA ads, local service ads, those are the way to go. Those are the ads that we see the most immediate impact for all of our clients. Now, what's great about LSAs is that you only pay when you get a phone call. Compare that to pay per click, where every time somebody clicks, you have to pay. And sometimes these clicks can be very, very expensive. For example, we used to run Google ads for a personal injury attorney in New York City who wanted construction accident cases. And those clicks cost $250 every single click. So I recommend LSA ads because you only pay when you get a phone call. And what's cool is that if you get a phone call that isn't relevant to you and isn't a good lead, you can dispute it and we win about 50% of those disputes. Now, most of our clients spend about $2,000 per month on average on their LSA ads, and the vast majority of them spend less than $100 per call. Now, let's talk about proactive marketing. That's where you're actually going out and getting in front of your ideal clients when maybe they're not even necessarily looking for you. Now, proactive marketing is a longer strategy, but it is a strategy that is 100% worth it. If you record and release one piece of content every single day in 365 days, you will not recognize your life. I promise you, I've done it, I've seen other people do it, it is absolutely incredible. Now what you need to do though, when you create this content, is you have to remember that you have to create content that your ideal clients would be interested in. Remember that audience that we talked about before? This is why it's so important. Your goal is that you want to prove that you can help them by actually helping them. That's one of my favorite lines by a marketer named Frank Kern, and it's completely true. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to create content that helps solve all their problems and answers all their questions, and therefore builds goodwill between you and them, even though you don't even know who they are. But here's the thing you have to understand, is that it's not gonna happen right away. That's why it's a long-term strategy, but I promise you, if you do this strategy, if you record one video every single day for a year, your law firm will never look the same. Now to get started, what I like doing is I like listing out every single problem and every single question that every single one of my clients have and each one of those becomes a video. Now another way that I love doing research is by looking what's working for other people and just kind of copying it. So one of the ways you can do that is using TikTok and I've got TikTok right here and I'm gonna pull this up on the screen and show you how I actually do research. So in the top right, there's a magnifying glass and what you can do is you can type your main keyword. So for example, let's type divorce. Now what's amazing about this is you can see that automatically a lot of things pop up. There's divorce, divorce advice for women, divorce TikTok, divorce advice for men, divorce healing. So let's click divorce advice for men and let's just click the arrow on the top right. What that does is that actually moves divorce advice for men to the top of the list. Now look at how many different options there are. There's divorce advice for men. There's divorce advice for men with kids. There's so many different nuances of just how to give divorce advice for men. So now here's what we can do. Let's click on divorce advice for men with kids and see what comes up. So on the bottom here, this video is playing right now. You can see it has 191 likes. Now look at this one on the right. This one has 35,000 likes. Keep going down. This one has 8,666 likes. So what you can do is you can start going through and seeing what videos people are actually resonating with and then create content on those topics. That way there's no guessing. That way you know exactly what people are paying attention to and what people want to see so that you're not wasting your time and you're creating content right away. It's absolutely amazing. Now, most people stop there, but I have a saying, and that saying is the fortune is in the follow-up. If you make sure that your law firm does follow up better than any other law firm, you will win in your market. You just will. 
We have two clients that we ran identical marketing campaigns. They each got 300 leads on a very identical ad spend. Now the first attorney got 300 leads and zero cases. So he made no money. He actually lost money on this campaign. The second attorney, we'll call him attorney B, got 300 leads as well, but he got 75 cases. I was talking to the first attorney and I said, what happened? How did you only, how did you not get any cases? He said, well, the problem was we called everybody, but I just couldn't get them on the phone. Then I talked to the second attorney and I said, how did you get 75 cases out of this? So he said he has a system that he calls three times three ways. Well, every time that we have a lead that we don't talk to, we text them, we call them, and then we email them. And then if we don't hear back the next day, we text them, we call them, and we email them. And if we still don't hear back from them, we text them, we call them, and we email them on day three. And they just keep doing this and keep doing this and keep doing this. And that's how they got 75 cases and a 300 lead. Now I've got a few more really good tips that I wanna share with you that you can implement and make this work even better. So the first time you text, make sure that you say, hi, this is, and then insert your name. Now, the reason why is because if you've ever noticed on an iPhone, sometimes you'll get a call from a number that you don't recognize, but below it, it will say maybe John Smith. That information is pulled from emails and text messages. So if you send them an email that says, hi, this is attorney Mike Smith. I'm just calling you back and I wanted to set up a time for us to talk and you give them about 10 to 15 minutes to actually open that text message, then when you call, now it's gonna say maybe Mike Smith under the phone number, which is much more likely to result in them picking up the phone. Now, another thing you should do in that text message is ask when a good time to call would be or ask them for a good time to speak. A lot of times people don't wanna pick up the phone, but if you can actually schedule a time when you know they're available, then that will work really well. Now, another thing that I love doing is the double dial. I get a lot of flack for suggesting the double dial, but you know what? The double dial works. So you call, they don't answer, you immediately call again. And the reason why is because robocalls don't double dial. There's billions of robocalls every year, but robocalls don't double dial. And if they answer the phone and say, why'd you double dial me? Just say, I wanted to make sure you know I wasn't a robocall. And plus you contacted our firm. So I know this is important. I wanted to get you on the phone so that we could help you. So it's better to act first and then beg for forgiveness later. But most people aren't even going to have a problem with it, to be honest with you. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is vary the times that you call. If you call in the morning yesterday and call in the evening tomorrow, and you want to vary these times because people have different schedules. Sometimes they're at work, sometimes they're with their kids. And by staggering when you call, you have a much higher likelihood of getting them on the phone. Now, one final tip that I have for you is something that will allow you to get them to call you back when you leave a voicemail for them by using a little curiosity. And what I love doing with, in this situation is telling them that I have an idea that I would love to get their opinion on. You can leave a message that says, hi, this is Attorney Smith. I know I've left you a couple messages here, but I was reviewing the information that you sent over and I have an, op I have an idea that I'd love to get your opinion on. So give me a call back because I'd love to talk to you about it. It. This gets phone calls back all the time. So add it to your arsenal and I promise you it'll work. When somebody comes into your office or does a consultation with you and doesn't hire you, you're not finished. You still can get them to hire you by using something that I call by the way marketing. Now this works really well because it involves my two favorite things, follow up and value. After somebody leaves your office, all you have to do is send them a text message. Hi, so-and-so, thank you for coming into our office. I really enjoyed speaking with you. By the way, and then insert some value. So for example, we have a client and he sent this message to a client. He said, hi, this is Lance. Thanks for coming in and sharing your story. By the way, because your case is in front of judge so-and-so, the best defense is probably to handle it this way. And that client picked up the phone and called him and hired him right there. And that happens over and over and over again. When you combine value with follow-up, great things happen. We have another attorney, his name's David, and he's a personal injury attorney. And he was actually the fifth attorney that his now client interviewed before hiring him. The victim was hit by a DoorDash driver. The victim and the family had come into David's office. They left and they didn't sign the retainer agreement. So Dave has actually been creating videos for a very long time. He's been creating videos for over a year. So as soon as they left, he emailed them. He said, hey, thank you so much for coming in. I would love to be able to help you. By the way, here's a video that I created that talks about your exact situation and will provide you with some additional information whether you hire me or not. They hired him the next day. By the way, marketing, it's my number one tip. It works. And if you use it, I promise you, you will get more clients.